What up, world? What it look like? It's your man, Prime Time. Giving that salam to the good sisters and brothers and the middle finger to all the others. Um, this is a continuation to yesterday's cook-up. Um, so this is, yeah, this is, this is part three. It's part two, but technically part three to yesterday's cook-up, which was cook-up number two. Um, yeah, I'm ready to go. I got my, I got my, my Fruity Loops fired up. I got my pyramids, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ancestors. And uh, let's go, let's go. So let me see, I'm gonna try to lay out, basically what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to take these patterns right here that, um, that I made yesterday. Let me get that, that menu out the way, there we go. Take these patterns right here that I laid out that I made yesterday and um, part one slash two of the cook up get these bad boys laid out today what i need to do is i need to separate these i need to separate all of these these notes into different patterns right here one two three four five six seven patterns so first of all i want to stretch each one of these patterns out to be eight bars i'm just right clicking Right clicking in this empty box that you, when you go to a new um, pattern, this box is empty, you right click and it'll, you have the option one bar, two bars, four bars, 16, 32. I'm gonna do eights real quick. And I think this is pattern number seven. So that should be enough. Let's go back to pattern one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's what I, how many I need real quick. Let me just get rid of that call. Somebody texted me, pardon me for a second. Um, dude I used to work with by the name of Sean, you see, he wanna catch up and chill. Let me just let him know that I'm, I'm down, it's whatever. Pardon me for that, y'all. Um, so let's start doing this. The first, we'll just call this first pattern sample one. Wait, first off, I gotta get my on-screen keyboard popping off here. This is my late great uncle David's um touchscreen desktop right here. God rest his soul. I definitely need to upgrade my computer, but I don't mind working with what he, you know with uh with what he left behind I appreciate him and I love him I know he knows that but let's go ahead and let's start renaming these joints we just call this sample 1 and pattern 2 will be sample 2 and surprise surprise right And after that, I think I have put in an open hat. Yeah, open hat. So pattern three will be a... That's an open. Pattern four will be the close, because I put the close after that. And after that was the snare, I believe. Pattern five, make that snare. And pattern six is the kick. What? Ain't no J in that. And pattern seven is the 808. The bass, how low can you go? Death row, what a brother know. That's public enemy for all you youngins out there that don't know. Um, so let's go back to pattern one real quick. Let's get sample two. So if you didn't know, a nice little good shortcut so you don't have to go literally inside each, each pattern in the playlist. If you highlight, let me make sure y'all can see that. Zoom in a little bit. If you highlight, you get that little green, 
next to whatever whatever pattern that you that you want. If you highlight that, make sure that that's green right there. Control C, and then go to your next pattern. Make sure it's still highlighted. Control V, that will just paste right there real quick. And then we can go back in here and what is it? Control A to highlight everything and just hit delete. And let's get out of there. And then let's go down to what will be pattern number three, the open hat. Control C. And then Control V. And then go back. Go up in here. Control A, delete. And then we go to the next pattern, which is the closed hat. Control C. Scroll, go down to the fourth pattern, which is, and Control V that, go back. Control A, whoops, Control A, delete, close that. Come down to the snare, Control C, and Control V. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not the right pattern. That is actually the, the, the hi-hat. So let me go back and let me make sure I copy that. Control C. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it, 47. I pasted the hi-hat pattern into the snare pattern right there. That's why you gotta make, you gotta be careful, man. You got to be careful. I'm just gonna go over here to the history. Go there. And let's go back, boom. We got our snare pattern back like it's supposed to be looking. And we'll just continue doing what we was doing. Control C, go down to pattern four and control V. What's going on here? Why is it not getting the pattern that I want it to? Control C, copy. Control V, paste. There we go. All right. Go back. Control A, delete. Close that. And then we go down to the kick. Highlight that. Control C. Control V. Go back to pattern one. Got to get rid of this now. Control A, delete that. And then we go to the 808. I th um, maybe it wasn't the 808. Maybe it was just a regular bass because we in octane. Let's see, what was it that we had here? Oh, it was the 808, okay. The YC Deadly 808, whatever the fuck that mean. Let's copy that, Control C, go back down to the pattern, Control V. And once we get rid of this, we're gonna see what all of this, this madness that I made. I'm not quite sure about the 808 pattern. I don't know if I really got that how I wanted to because it actually shut off yesterday in the middle of me um, labeling everything up here on the mixer. I ran out of time, the hour ended. Let's get rid of that. And let's zoom back out so y'all can see everything again. And now let's start laying things out. We got everything separated in its own pattern. Everything is its own pattern. Let me give it a little bit more volume, part of my arm.
And because the tempo on this is 160, we'll probably lay out 40 bars. We're gonna use like an eight bar intro. And then we'll have like a, a 32 bar verse. That because of the high tempo at 160 timing wise, it'll come off like as if it's a 16. Everything come in after that. Let's see how that sound real quick. Shift, 
left click and drag. And we'll do the same thing again one more time. Depending on how long this runs, we may drop off the third verse, but for right now, we'll just leave it there. layout tracks, a lot of, lot of uh, addition and subtraction, just until like I feel like I'm hearing what I want to hear and it's building up the right way. I like tracks that have build up to them. like I like what's going on right here what's going on in here for sure I'm probably going to wind up um, taking this sample one pattern and I'll probably be chopping a few bars and dropping in a few bars here and there throughout the verse. That might make it be a little bit more.
I'm about to focus in this area right here and see if I can get this joint cut up how I want it. some of that um some of that decay that you hear on the trail end of this uh, of the sample
try to do that by hitting up this um, this cutoff knob here on the fruity delay that I have put on um, that I put on it. Let's see if I basically it was all the way up. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to just cut it in half. I was on. change a little bit too much of what I got going on, you know, all the pitch bendiness of it and everything. Let me just listen to it. So you get to hear I fuck with the um, I'm gonna come over here to the modulation portion and see if I can get some of that because when I turn it down the cutoff all the way down you don't get to hear all of that that bendiness in the pitch on the, on the, on the piano sample and I like that I just I'm trying to find a way to not let it let it ride for so long after each note If I can, if I turn it all the way down, the cutoff, if I can come over here and get it back. All right, so this is on 1.8 hertz. just have to live with that because I don't know any other way hmm let's see if I mess around with this feedback distortion a little bit I just hit this switch right here. One is limit and the other one is uh, saturation. Let's see if I put it on limit. I just want y'all to see real quick also, if I zoom out a little bit, there is like a little, a little graph, I guess I can call it, that I guess it shows with the, uh, what the sound wave is doing, like what the, what the, how the feedback distortion looks. So when I put it on saturation, you see that there's a curve in it, right? And when I put it on limit, it basically straightens up. So let's hear it like this.
I mean, I, st- I still hear the waviness of, you know, the, the pitch bend and shit. So I might be able to live with it like that. And I know sometimes, I know for me it can. Sometimes it's daunting to come down here and mess with knobs. Because then it's like, if the way that you change it is not something that you like to hear and you want to get it back how it was, you got to go through, a, you know, a lot of, a lot of crap. Normally what I do is I'll save right before I try to change any of these knobs. So if I make a change and I can't get it back how it was, I'll just I'll open up the project. Um, I'll basically just open up the project so that it'll go right back to that last save. And then all of the, the controls inside of whatever it is that you're tweaking will be exactly how it was. Um, but let's, let's, let's put it back in the context of the music and hear it. here is kind of trailing for a long time but I just want to try to contrast that against when we have it set on saturation I don't know it sounds like it rides like like longer I don't know if you guys can hear like how long it's kind of holding on to that for like almost two bars like basically from from right here it went like all the way to like right here on the timeline and i want to see let me try that again Another little change here, a little edit that highlighted um, portion of the first sample. I'm basically about to cut the first note off of that. Now, right now, I have it set to snap to bar, so I'll never be able to get the separation in here. But I'm going to go over to the snap tool and I'm going to put it on snap to step. And I think that'll allow me to get the change I want. done making your little change or whatever I apologize in, in um, the first couple of cook-ups and, and garnish sessions I haven't been very good at putting the camera back how it was before I started doing things and changing things so my bad for that I'm definitely conscious of that I'm gonna try to make a better effort Make sure you guys can see everything that's happening, everything I'm doing. And again, that's with that delay saturation on limit. I'm going to see what happens when I put it back. If I like it on saturation or if limit is better.
limiting that uh, that distortion. I think I like it better like that. So I'm gonna put that on there. Leave it. I think I'm cool with what's going on with the sample during the verse, at least for the time being. So what I'm going to do, let me get that um, get that mixer out the way. I'm gonna zoom back out. this first verse, I'm going to put the same thing in the second and the third verses. So delete those up there. Get my keyboard, my on-screen keyboard, hit control, highlight what I want, come back, turn the control off, click on the shift, left click and drag. And now let's hear it all the way through. I think I'm thinking maybe in in um in the hooks, I might want to maybe do the same thing and slice up the bass a little bit and just let portions of it play. So I don't know, but we'll just let it rock for a sec. something like this and you can't like basically get the lines down to mark off exactly what you want to do what you want to edit or whatever or change then just go to a smaller unit like if this wasn't going to be enough I would wind up going down to snap to um, from step I go to snap to half step if that still wasn't enough I'd probably go to like snap to um, quarter step and, and so on and so forth, forth to get down as small as what I want that right there and I'm gonna cut right behind it right Whoop. you got to make sure that you're right on the lines and everything like that otherwise you might cut off more than what you intended Go. 
by the way, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to copy and, and bring these over and place them here inside, inside of the other two hooks. Shout out to Brahma Beats. This is a dope ass plugin right here. I just didn't wind up using it. I like the um, the 808 sound that I got out of the uh, the Octane better when I was doing this beat right here. But this is an awesome plugin right here. Ape shit 808 Brahma Beats. I'm gonna delete that because I don't need that no more. Wait, do we have this silly damn thing bugging out again? I want to do is I want to see what happens if I try to slide some of these notes. said that I mean it kind of sound like like the notes of the the bass is kind of sliding and bending a little bit anyway when I've done something and when I try to undo it it doesn't seem like it's cooperating I'm going to see what happens if I just change the plug in and bring it back
think I'm probably gonna have to live with it like this. Listen to this all the way through, and then I think that's about it. satisfied with the patterns and everything. Probably all I'm going to keep doing after I end this live is I'll just keep listening to it just to get, you know, everything at the right volume. Try to mix it a little better. shit, ain't they? everybody who sat through this with me, um, everybody who has followed on, on Instagram, I've gotten some more followers on my Instagram page, that's at Red Daddy Beats, G-R-A-N-D-A-D-D-Y, B-E-A-T-Z, um, 
since I've started doing these little sessions, the garnish sessions and, and, uh, and the cook-ups. Appreciate everybody that's coming follow for that. Um, shout out to um, the extra followers that I've gained on SoundCloud. If you're not already um, on my SoundCloud and you want to hear like maybe any of the the little snippets with the, with the little animated videos that I put on either the YouTube or I put on, on my IG page. If you want to hear the whole beat, you can find the whole beats there on my SoundCloud under the same name, Granddaddy Beats. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't already, please click that like button. Please click that subscribe because there's going to be much more. Um, I've been trying to think on some ways that I can um, bring y'all inside and let y'all see the behind the scenes of me trying to get this EP together. I'm going to be dropping an EP next month called um, uh, called Project... I think I'm going to go with the name Project X. I like Project X. Um, most of the songs are written already. I already five of the songs are basically written and complete. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of writing uh, a sixth song right now. I got the first verse done. I think I might add another verse to it. Um... The vibe is going to be very militant. It's going to be very conscious. I feel like we need that balance back. We haven't, we really haven't had that voice ringing out too much too often. It's there. Don't get me wrong. It's there in the culture right now and in the music. But there's not, there's not really too many people that are doing like whole projects dedicated to that type of voice. So I'm definitely trying to bring that um, on this project. And like I said, I think I'm. I might go live and let y'all see some of the, some of the, you know, me trying to record some of the verses and things like that. Maybe I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, but yeah, anyway, man, thanks again for, for sitting through this with me. Um, again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on SoundCloud. Follow me on Instagram. And I'm out. Land to them good sisters and brothers, middle fingers to all the others. Peace.